been different from most people in the Parliamentary Labour Party because I'm the only one in Parliament, I suppose, because I've been here long enough, to have voted against every single treaty. Why? Why? Because, not because I'm a flag waver, like the Tories, but because I believe eventually the European Union will fail. And I think I've been proved right up to now. And I forecast that when they, brought, they analyse the European community from 12 to 27, that most of those countries from the ex-Soviet bloc would turn out to be right wing. And they are. So you're not very optimistic about David Cameron's renegotiations? No, of course that's all. It's, that's a bit of a charade. Are they going to be the same as Harold Wilson in 1975? No, because Harold Wilson genuinely said to people that this is a chance for you to either stay in Europe or get out. And he allowed a free vote in his cabinet? And he allowed a free vote in the cabinet. And was people. it a good thing? Pardon? Was it a good thing to... Yeah, of course it was. But Cameron didn't do that now. Because Cameron wants to stay in Europe, but give the impression that he's not really in favour. But we all know that he is. And do you think that ministers... So not... it's a game, it's a charade. Mm. And do you think that the ministers, they're not allowed to express their views over the referendum? Well, they did in Harold Wilson's day in 1975, but Cameron won't allow that. Mm. And if the UK leaves... Then the, the other Tories haven't got the guts to fight it. And if we leave the EU, will Britain be better off or worse off? Well, personally, I think there are more companies now in Britain who have got workers that are selling goods to Europe and elsewhere, that they will, by and large, those bosses, like, say, Toyota in Derbyshire, will probably tell their workers on the morning of the referendum, don't forget to vote to stay in. Mm -hmm. And what do you make of tra uh, government's trade unions bill? Which got it stinks.